India, located in South Asia, is a vibrant and diverse country that encompasses a rich tapestry of culture, history, and geography. With a land area of approximately 3.3 million square kilometers, it's the seventh largest country in the world. Bordered by the majestic Himalayan mountain range to the north and the Arabian Sea to the south, India boasts a varied topography that includes fertile plains, arid deserts, lush forests, and towering mountains. India has officially overtaken China as the world's most populous country, according to recent estimates. With a population of 1.4 billion people, India now holds a lead over China's billion-strong population, a shift that has been driven by a combination of factors including sustained economic growth, improved healthcare, and changing attitudes towards family planning. For decades, China has held the title, but India's population has been growing at a faster rate and is now projected to reach 1.7 billion people by 2050. Managing such a large and diverse population is no easy task, and it raises the question, how does India even manage such a large population? I mean, sure, India is a huge country, the seventh largest to be exact, but with such a rapidly growing population, are they not bound to run into problems with not having enough land to house people? Or enough food and water to feed people in the future? India's population is spread across 28 states and 8 union territories, each with its own distinct culture and language. Managing such diversity requires a delicate balance of policies and strategies that cater to the needs of different regions and communities. The Indian government has implemented various programs and initiatives that focus on education, healthcare, and infrastructure development, among others, to ensure that all citizens have access to basic amenities. India's population has grown rapidly over the past century, from 238 million in 1900 to over 1.4 billion today. The country's population growth rate peaked in the 1960s and 70s but has since declined due to various demographic and socioeconomic factors. India's total fertility rate has fallen from 5.9 in 1951 to 2.2 .2 in 2018, which is close to the replacement level of 2.1. Population growth in India is influenced by a complex array of demographic, socioeconomic, and cultural factors. These include early marriage and childbearing, low levels of education and literacy, poverty, gender inequality, and cultural norms and attitudes towards family size and contraception. However, population momentum, the tendency of a population to continue growing even after fertility rates decline, means that India's population will continue to grow for several more decades. India's population is young, with a median age of 28 years. However, the country's age structure is rapidly changing with the proportion of elderly individuals expected to increase in the coming decades. This demographic shift poses significant challenges to India's social security and healthcare systems, as well as its labor market and economic growth prospects. India has implemented several policies and programs aimed at reducing population growth and promoting family planning. The country's family planning program, launched in 1952, was one of the first of its kind in the world. The program initially focused on promoting contraception and sterilization, but has since expanded to include maternal and child health services, reproductive health education, and adolescent health programs. It will also highlight challenges faced in terms of cultural beliefs, gender dynamics, and access to services in rural areas. India's family planning program has achieved some success in reducing fertility rates and promoting contraceptive use. However, the program has also faced significant challenges and criticisms. These include concerns about coercive practices, inadequate funding, poor quality of care, and limited access to services in rural and remote areas. To address these challenges, India has implemented several new initiatives and reforms in recent years. These include the National Health Mission, which aims to strengthen primary health care services and improve access to maternal and child health services. The country has also launched the Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana, a cash transfer scheme for pregnant and lactating women, and the Swak Bharat Mission, a nationwide program to improve sanitation and hygiene. 
Child marriages have deep-rooted cultural, socioeconomic, and gender-related reasons in India. With traditions and customs influencing societal norms in certain parts of the country, it had become commonplace for young girls to be married off before the legal age of consent. This not only endangered their physical and emotional well-being, but also perpetrated the cycle of poverty and limited access to education. Child marriages incur multifaceted consequences that perpetuate a cycle of disempowerment. Young girls forced into early marriages often have their education abruptly terminated, limiting their potential and contributing to poor health outcomes. Early pregnancies, maternal mortality rates, and infant mortality rates are significantly higher among child brides. This phenomenon serves as a major deterrent to India's desirable goal of sustainable development. Early marriages have a direct correlation with increased fertility rates. India has implemented various laws and programs to encourage the legal age of marriage and delay conception, particularly for girls. The Prohibition of Child Marriage Act, government schemes, and campaigns like Kanyashi Prakalp in West Bengal have been instrumental in raising awareness and encouraging girls' education, leading to delayed marriages and lower fertility rates. India's battle against child marriages involves collaborative efforts from various stakeholders, including the government, NGOs, civil society organizations, and legal bodies. Education campaigns have been launched to raise awareness about the negative consequences of child marriages and highlight the importance of delaying marriage for both boys and girls. Media, celebrities, and social influencers have joined this movement to amplify the message and promote positive change. While India's efforts to ban child marriages have yielded progress, significant challenges remain. Limited awareness in rural and remote areas, along with conservative beliefs, hinder complete eradication of this practice. Greater investment in education, healthcare, and female empowerment programs is crucial. Moreover, enforcing strict legal penalties for those who violate the ban will act as a deterrent and ensure the protection of vulnerable children. India has also actively conducted awareness programs, reproductive health camps, and counseling sessions at both rural and urban levels to disseminate knowledge on contraception, maternal health, and family planning options. These initiatives aim to eliminate myths and taboos surrounding contraceptives while ensuring easy availability and accessibility to reproductive health services across the country. Education is a critical component of any nation's development. It's through education that citizens are empowered to make informed decisions that can profoundly influence the country's growth trajectory. Women's education in particular is an essential element in controlling a country's population. The positive impact of educating women extends far beyond the individual level as it has a ripple effect that benefits the entire society. When women are educated, they are better equipped to make decisions about their reproductive health, including family planning. This, in turn, has a direct impact on population growth rates, as educated women tend to have fewer children. Education enables women to acquire better job prospects and higher-paying jobs, which subsequently contribute to the desire for smaller families. As women become financially independent and gain equal opportunities in the labor market, they are more likely to prioritize their careers and delay having children. This shift in mindset, fueled by education, decreases the fertility rate, and facilitates population control. Education is a crucial stepping stone in breaking the cycle of poverty that often exacerbates population growth. By imparting knowledge, skills, and confidence to women, education paves the way for better economic conditions, ensuring improved access to healthcare, nutrition, and family planning services. This multifaceted impact of education on women's lives contributes to a decline in population growth as prosperity increases and sustainable family planning becomes more attainable. The Indian government has introduced several initiatives and policies to uplift the status of women and increase their access to education. The Save the Girl, Educate the Girl campaign focuses on improving the female gender ratio in schools and promoting girls' education. Additionally, the Right to Education Act aims to provide free and compulsory education to all children between the ages of 6 and 14, helping ensure that girls receive an education alongside boys. India's population growth presents both challenges and opportunities for the country's future. 
while the high population poses significant social, economic, and environmental challenges. It also offers potential benefits in terms of a large and growing workforce, market demand, and cultural diversity. With over 1.38 billion people, this rapid growth poses significant risks to the nation's present and future. India's high population also has significant environmental impacts, including deforestation, air and water pollution, and biodiversity loss. The country is already facing several environmental challenges, including climate change, water scarcity, and natural resource depletion. Consequently, vulnerable communities living in coastal regions are at risk of displacement due to inundation and intensified cyclones. To address these challenges, India has launched several environmental initiatives and policies, including the National Action Plan on Climate Change, the National Biodiversity Act, and the National River Conservation Plan. The country is also investing in renewable energy and clean technologies, and has set ambitious targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and increasing forest cover. Providing adequate health care and education to an ever-increasing population is an uphill battle. The overcrowding of hospitals and clinics strain already insufficient healthcare systems, making it challenging to provide quality healthcare services to all citizens. Additionally, overcrowded classrooms and overwhelmed educational institutions reduce the effectiveness of education, compromising the country's human capital development. The population crisis poses a substantial hurdle to ensuring accessible and quality healthcare and education for all Indian citizens. India's population crisis contributes to rapid urbanization, placing immense pressure on urban infrastructure. Overcrowded cities struggle to accommodate housing, transportation, sanitation, and other essential services. Inadequate infrastructure leads to severe traffic congestion, inadequate waste management, and overburdened utilities. The strain on infrastructure inhibits cities' ability to provide a safe and decent standard of living to their inhabitants adversely affecting their overall quality of life. Ensuring food security for a growing population is an arduous task. India already faces significant challenges in eliminating malnutrition and achieving food self-sufficiency. The population crisis further complicates these goals. Limited agricultural land, inefficient farming practices, and climate change adversely impact food production. The excessive burden on food resources perpetuates malnutrition especially among the most vulnerable population groups, such as children and the elderly. With over 1.3 billion inhabitants, the demographic advantage has the potential to bring numerous benefits to the nation. While population growth often raises concerns about resource management and socioeconomic challenges, this diverse population can be harnessed to fuel India's progress and achieve sustainable development. One of the most significant advantages of a growing population is an expanded labor force. India has a vast pool of young and talented individuals ready to contribute to the nation's economic growth. By providing quality education, skill development programs, and job opportunities, India can tap into this valuable resource and transform it into a strong workforce. With the right policies and investments, India can leverage its growing population to fuel innovation, enhance productivity, and attract foreign investment. To harness the opportunities and address the challenges of population growth, India must adopt a holistic and integrated approach that focuses on promoting sustainable development, reducing poverty and inequality, improving healthcare and education, and empowering women and girls. This requires political leadership, policy innovation, and strong partnerships among government, civil society, and the private sector. India's population growth is a complex and multifaceted challenge that requires urgent action and innovative solutions. While the government has made progress in increasing fertility rates and promoting family planning, much remains to be done to ensure a sustainable and equitable future for all Indians. By addressing the socioeconomic, environmental, and cultural determinants of population growth, India can unlock the full potential of its population and achieve its developmental goals. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. And thanks for watching.